So we carry on with our explanation for chapter uh, four, railway systems engineering, and we have reached section three, where we'll be talking about the difference between project management, and it's a very important concept, and systems engineering. So without further ado, let's have a look at what we have. So, so to start with the course, this will be the content. To start with this section, this will be the content. We'll be providing a quick introduction into what is the difference between systems engineering and what's the difference we, uh, and how this is different than project management. So then we'll be talking about requirements and scope management. And we will be also talking about some of the uh, concepts that is associated with what does systems engineering focus on and what is uh, project management focus on. So without further ado, let's start by talking about uh, the difference. So project management is a well-established discipline that is concerned with managing projects on time, on budget, and according to uh, the, uh, an acceptable level of quality. Systems engineering also did deliver the same, but it's more concerned with more complex projects, and it focus on uh, taking the pro uh, the project requirements and uh, de uh, decomposing them to function, then build physical components out of that, and finally deliver. System uh, systems engineering is more concerned with requirements. How does the requirements change all over the project, how, uh, all over the phases of the project? How does, uh, what is the impact of change on uh, the risk and safety of the project? So systems engineering is much more focused on tracing requirements and making sure that they are satisfied by different systems. While I guess project management is more, I think, I think project management is more concerned of scheduling, cost breakdowns, structure, and assigning those activities to different parties. So just to understand, the rail project is very complex project, and sometimes it might take 15 or 20 years to deliver one project or one program. So for example, there is a maglev program in Japan, and it might take, uh, it, may, it might take 10 to 15 years to be built. Uh, another project can be, for example, HS2 in the UK, and it might take it, 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 maybe the duration of the project is 12 years or 10 years. So these projects takes a very long time. And for example, a small extension of a, of a link in Dubai uh, that is only 15 kilometers, 15 kilometers of Metro link called Expo link, the cost of that project is 10.6 billion dirhams and it will take three to four years to deliver. So many phases, the, the, the rail construction projects usually consist of many phases and projects require long lead time. So you would have multiple offices and distributed staff. You have to cross numerous communities and jurisdictions, especially if you have, a, for example, a high speed rail line where you are passing through a number of municipalities. You have, for example, if you have a congested uh, downtown, you would be, uh, you, you need to manage your traffic, and you, ha you, have, you need to have links to existing systems. Usually project, uh, rail programs, or it takes several years and billion dollars of budget. Now we need to talk about project management versus systems engineering. So what's the difference between project management and systems engineering? Let us th th think about the focus. So there is a great focus in project management on time and scope management, co uh, cost management. Th th those are really key. We need to deliver this project in less time. We need to deliver project, uh, this project in uh, less cost. And systems engineering is about requirements management, performance and technical risk, cost and capability, and by requirement management, making sure that you trace the different requirements across the project. So let me give you an example. Let us assume that we want to, be, uh, to build, uh, to build a, a skyscraper, a, 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 a big tower, and you decided to change the requirements of doors or the requirements of elevators. And for example, in a project management, you would be concerned how quickly that change can happen, what will be the added cost? While in a systems engineering, would you, you, you think, would this change in requirements still deliver the performance of the project that was intended? 
which is still deliver its original function. And let us assume that part of this tower is a mall where people pass through this mall and go to a metro station, which is a very common theme in many, many towers where you have that access to metro and access to a shopping center. Of course, the requirements of doors and the requirements of elevators would affect 